Hey YouTube family, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I had some uh, questions about some of the activities that I used to do back in the day. Um, I used to belly dance a lot more. I used to model a lot more, like heavily, heavily guys, <laughs> to the point where that was just my job and it was great. Um, so we're going to talk about that a little bit today. Uh, I'm going to tell you what was going on in my life health-wise. Uh, chronic illness warriors says so this isn't just some vapid like makeup and like gossipy kind of video. Though there will be some allegedly conspiracy, in my opinion, of what happened um, while I was working a lot. So here's some um, setting spray because we're going to need this. All this drama. We don't want the contour to crack. This is long wear by setting spray by hard candy. Mm -hmm. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Oof. Fan it off. Let it dry, honey. Fan it. Fan it. How hot is it where you guys are at? Y'all, it is hot. Hot in Tennessee. Mm. So let's get to this. So before we get started with the tea, I thought I'd just break down my outfit for you. This is one of my outfits that I featured in my last video where I'm all weepy. So if you haven't watched that one yet, check it out. Um, there's some real real in that video. So you're welcome in advance. Uh, this is one of the last outfits I had shown in that video. It's like my pink renaissance belly dancey outfit. Hence all this bright pink makeup. Woo! Um, you'll see this necklace that I talked about from Joe Daddy, my hubby, my plain little white shirt, and my wraparound skirt. Y'all, this has seen some hoflas. This has seen mead and jousts and turkey legs <laughs> and big corn stalks, all that good stuff um, from Ren Fair. I miss those days. Oh, I miss those days. So we're going to get into some tea. The truth today, I got my teacup, but it has coffee in it, so my sippy sip is coffee. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. So here we go. I thought that this video will answer some questions. I hope this video will be entertaining because you'll hear from this crazy redhead's perspective how... Uh, the modeling world was when I was in it, which was a little while ago, and um, I was pretty much modeling every single weekend and working a 40-hour job on, as a secretary on top of it. I also had my own studio at that time, which was this really awesome space. I called it an incubator for artists, and it was a uh, awesome giant studio with smaller studios in it and I could rent out my big space for my own photo shoots for other photographers for concerts things like that and then my smaller studio spaces I rented out to private artists uh, businessmen uh, somebody who just wanted a space for a gym etc so <laughs> I was a model I was a business owner and I was working as a secretary. So kind of like the Betty Page thing, except I didn't do any of the like S&M stuff. Maybe. Allegedly. Conspiracy? Who knows? Anyway, so <laughs> that was all the framework for what you're about to see. Also, these pictures, these images, this portfolio is an old portfolio. So these are some of my very first four days into the modeling world and I modeled mostly in my local area. I did a lot of art exhibitions. I did some print work. I did runway. I did a little of everything. I was in a calendar, a sci-fi calendar that was promoted at a local sci-fi convention called Con Nuga, and that was really fun. I, as a belly dancer, opened uh, for a tattoo studio at one of their grand openings. I performed in lots of other places. I opened for Mariah Chapel. She's one of the greatest belly dancers out there right now. You should look her up. And anyway, so that was me back then. And I also was super sick and had no idea what was going on with me. So all of you chronic warriors out there, chronic illness warriors out there you know what that's like when you haven't been diagnosed yet and you know something's wrong and something's so off but you just can't figure out what it is that was me 
and it was really difficult because I didn't have a very super supportive partner at the time. So I was kind of doing everything and burning the candles at both ends. Don't do that. It's horrible. <laughs> While I was able to follow my bliss and do a lot of amazing things, I was also going through some of the worst times of my life. Um, I know some of you can totally, totally identify with that. So here's the tea. We about to get into it. You can already see my lipstick on there. We about to get into this tea. I'm going to spill some tea. Wait till you guys hear what I have to say. I also forgot to say that my most modern and recent pictures that I've been doing um, for my modeling, which I have still been modeling. You should find me on Facebook. You can see some of those pictures. Jamie's Creative Space. Anyway. I've been still modeling, but that portfolio is all digitized. And if you're interested in looking at that one with me and hearing the tea on some of those pictures, let me know because I will print them out and we'll go through it like we are today. Um, the reason I wanted to do this video, this style, as in a printed out um, like binder of pictures, is just because I thought there might be like a little ASMR effects maybe. Those of you who like the crinkle sounds, like watching page turning videos, things like that, that's what's going to be coming at you, as well as my commentary with conspiracies that may, may not have happened allegedly, supposedly, in my opinion, disclaimer time. So that's the tea. That's the tea. You ready for the tea? Um, this is when I first got into modeling. Just kidding. <laughs> This is me in like the 80s. I was about three years old in this picture. And I very much remember this picture being taken. It might have been two, maybe. Um, but I clearly remember this picture being taken. Check out those homemade bangs. Oh, yeah. Mom. Wow. But anyway, <laughs> I only include this picture because I will let you guys know when they tell you, you know what you're meant to do. Believe me, you do. I knew from this age that I loved lights and cameras. I will tell you that. My earliest memories are photo shoots like this, and I call them photo shoots, but family portrait sessions. In my little mind, they were photo shoots. And um, singing at my grandfather's pulpit at his church. Those are literally my earliest memories. So I have always been an introvert extrovert, always, my entire life. But yay, there's little Jamie. Little Jamie Lachelle. This was an awesome photo shoot with the incredible Ricky Davis. He kind of has a, diff a few different pages and websites out there and a few different genres that he um, shoots. So definitely check him out. He's an awesomely creative guy, Ricky Davis, TRD Photography, you might find him that way as well. This was for a bridal promo shoot. He was getting ready to do wedding season, so he wanted to do some pictures that were showing off uh, the bridal look. And this beautiful makeup, I just am in love with it. It was done by Angela R. Makeup Artist. That's how she's listed. You guys, they were great. Here's another one. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I remember I was just loved that hair feather thing. And the tea on the this photo shoot was that it was in a studio that I eventually taught some belly dance classes out of um, in Hickson, Tennessee. And we were in this tiny little hot studio. But Ricky had his great lighting, his awesome photography skills. And Angela's great makeup skills made this shoot the bomb. Sorry, you'll hear me sniffing a lot because my allergies are just like, whoa. This is a promo shoot for the exhibition, art exhibition. I was so grateful, so, so grateful to be a part of by the awesome David Farmery. Um, it's, this exhibition was called Seven Deadly Sins. 
and this was just a promo shoot for it, shot for it. Um, this was used on some signage and some postcards and things that were promoting the exhibition. And I just thought it was hilarious because the photographer, I don't know if you can really see that with this horrible lighting, but uh, the photographer always wore a beret and he was just exhausted by the end of the shoot. So the series, because <laughs> we did all seven deadlies. And so he put his little beanie on this skeleton with the cigarette like oh my god I can't believe we're done and there's me hovering over him like Mwah. <laughs> my mom was horrified by this because there was a cigarette in the shot just so you know oh we'll get into some family drama tea another time you guys oh anyway this is one of the black and white versions it's really hard to see sorry of gluttony and our take on gluttony was people just not taking care of our mother not taking care of earth and as you can see i'm holding a plastic water bottle that's an actual gas um, nozzle with a tube that was wrapped around me it's hard to see but you can see it kind of there i really liked this black and white version and this one he printed out for me and put a little note, which I look at almost every day. This was the final image that made it into the exhibition um, with some additional Photoshop with some planets and uh, spacey stuff in the sky. But this was the final shot that actually went in of Sloth. I'm sorry, of great. You can see this was really actually very comfortable to lay on. And I'm all wrapped up in that hose. David Farmery is an amazing photographer, guys. He makes you feel so comfortable and he makes you feel like you're brilliant. And his wife, Stephanie Farmery, I say she's my other mother <laughs> because she's just such an incredible person. And here you'll see this was a promo card for the exhibition. This was one of the times that it was in a museum it was in 2009. I'm very blessed. It was actually in a couple different museums. This was just one of them at the Tennessee Art League or the Tall for short. Many of you may have been there. If you haven't, you should check it out. This image was, can you guess? Lust. The juicy tea on this exhibition was my favorite part of this juicy tea, I should say, is that everyone wanted to show me what their favorite sin was at this exhibition opening. So here I am standing there with my drink and I have overwhelmingly women dragging me to wrath and overwhelmingly men dragging me over to lust this image. So I thought that was an interesting psychological study at this exhibition. But anyway, we had this little opening reception in 2009. It was great. It was an experience I will never, ever forget. This is one of my absolute favorite images in my portfolio. I don't know. I think it's because I'm a rocker at heart. Always have been. My mom used to be like, why do you like Aerosmith? They were popular in my day. But I mean, th that's just me. And this outfit just like screams rocker chick. It also has a little thoughtish vibe, but whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, I love it. I, you can see some cool reflections in my glasses. If you get down real close, um, that skirt was, and I call, I use that term like loosely it was not really a skirt it was kind of like a strip of clothing of cloth um but I was having to stand in very um very specific ways to not just show everyone my my goodies I almost fell over like three times in these heels this image is by sublime lightworks Robert Fausch he's um that photographer and I, again, love working with him. He always makes you feel real at ease. He likes to serve snacks and drinks and things at his shoots. 
he, if you have a significant other, a girlfriend, whatever that comes with you to the shoot, which I always recommend if you go on a photo shoot, guys, always take somebody, always take someone with you. Always. Anyway, he will set them up in front of his huge TV with snacks. He lets you pick out whatever movie you watch while the rest of us work down in the studio. And it's amazing. I haven't worked with him in a while though. What's interesting is that when I was going through my divorce way back in the day, um, this was a photographer who would always check on me, like just to see how I was doing, to make sure that I was surviving, that I was trying to work still, and it really got me through. I love this image because to me, it kind of has a Forks vibe for those of you who like Twilight. Um, it's not a very good way to... Here, here we go. It has kind of a Forks vibe. This was filmed in, in downtown Chattanooga. This was filmed... Uh, this was taken at like... Mm, kind of like Twilight time. And it was really foggy up on the mountain in Chattanooga. I think this was Lookout that we were on. And it was just a bunch of friends and I like goofing around with cameras and stuff. And they just caught me in this moment. I was like walking off by myself and they just caught it. And I just really liked the moodiness of it. How it looks like from a movie set of some sort. So there's no real tea on this. Well, actually, yes, there is. There is some tea now that I think about it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to take a sip here. Mm -hmm. Just some, just some good tea, y'all. Most of these people that I was hanging out with during this time, and I was going through a rough time even here. I was with my ex, and it was a really bad time. He wasn't there, but anyway, my friends and I were hanging out, and. I thought these people would be with me no matter what. No matter what happened in this life, they would be with me. Huh. I was wrong, y'all. I was so wrong. So be careful. Be careful. There's sneaky snakes everywhere. Sneaky snakes. But I love this image. This was probably one of my very first professional images that I posted on MySpace way back in the day. Yes, I'm that old. Um, MySpace was amazing for me, actually. I made a lot of money on MySpace <laughs> while I was doing this. Anyway, um, this is by DG Photos. Uh, Ted Ladd is the photographer. I did my own makeup for this and my own wardrobe. I wanted to do kind of a clockwork orange kind of feel and he just captured it perfectly and he is a great guy in general. Um, he likes when you're shooting, he makes you feel very comfortable. He cheers you on. Um, if you're very comfortable in front of the camera, he just lets you go and just do your thing. If you're not too comfortable in front of the camera or you're just kind of starting to first get into it, he was really great at direction as well and communicating what he really wanted. This was one of my good friends back in the day. This is one of the girls that I lost touch with. One of those that I thought would be there forever, but wasn't. Whatever. I'm not going to name any names. Whatever. Life happens. Whatever. Um, anyway, we did a bunch of like seasonal shots, her and I. Um, and again, this is Robert Fausch of Sublime Lightworks. We did our own hair and makeup, both her and I. I was very, very sick at this time, y'all. Just so you know. I was literally having a flare like... Those of you who have Crohn's, you know what I'm talking about. I was in the middle of a flare during this shoot. Like I would be like, okay, got the, got the, got the shot. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> go do my thing. Come back. Okay. Here we go. But it was really fun. And again, Robert just like makes you laugh and just keeps you going. And my friend at the time, she, she was just really high energy, positive, 
sweet girl and help keep me going <laughs> during all that. But I love this Christmas image because it's like she's Santa and I'm like her little elf that stole her hat. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this was another friend of mine that I lost touch with. And this, again, was one of my first shoots with this photographer with Robert Fausch. This is, again, Sublime Lightworks. The tea on this is that those weren't real drinks at all. Um, that was just uh, colored water. And I kept forgetting and I was really thirsty and hot in the studio. And I kept forgetting and diving back to like drink out of my <laughs> food color dyed water. It was hilarious. But anyway, we were trying to be a little classy lady sitting at this table waiting for somebody to come buy us a drink. Mm -hmm. But Splime Light works. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Here's some more images. This is like a pinup image I did back in the day. Black and white. This is by DG Studios. Ted Ladd. Makeup by me. Hair by me. Wardrobe by my friend Kitty Von Cat. She made that dress for me. Um, the stockings from Victoria's Secret. Shoes were from Walmart. I loved this photo shoot. I felt like I was living in the 50s and it was cool because the photographer had like old school retro music going on during the whole time. So that really put you in the vibe, put me in the vibe. It was great. It was really fun. This y'all, I have several pictures from this set on my Facebook. So you need to check it out. Um, this was one of my favorite sets ever. Um, this studio, the tea on this is that he used his studio in such a creative way. He spray painted actual trees and branches that he found out and about in his yard, spray painted them white and hung them upside down from the roof of his studio. So it was like I could walk through and move around and use all these different branches and trees as props. And it was like I was in this enchanted forest. It was so, so cool. Um, this is one of the favorite shots from it. Uh, I really liked it. I really liked the expression he caught. I really liked the shadow across my face. And I really loved that old school lace dress. It was this vintage dress he had found at Goodwill. And I just loved it and wanted to keep it. <laughs> it was fun. And it's cool, like the off-white and the white. I really like that too. And this tea mm -hmm, is that I'm sitting on the naughty red chair is what I call it. This is with Sublime Lightworks, Robert Fausch. Um, we're doing a little oriental vibe here, a little Asian vibe. I'm probably being PC, not PC like at all in the way I'm describing this. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. Um, but anyway, this was the set I was paid to do and I really like it. I found this dress that I'm wearing at a fl uh, flea market in East Ridge, Tennessee. Those hair sticks were from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I call this the naughty red chair because I did a lot of implieds in this chair. In other words, I was not naked, but from the way the angle of the camera is and from the way the picture's taken, it looks like I am. So hence, that's the naughty red chair. The T on this um, photo shoot is that my ex and I uh, had a knockdown drag out fight all the way down to this uh, location. It was about two hours away from our home at the time. And my eyes were super red and swollen. But hey, look, the power of Photoshop. Boom. Here's me with a couple of my girlfriends. Just a friend of ours took these pictures. What? Because we just wanted to all be pretty and hang out together. And you can't really tell, unfortunately, in this lighting. And because I'm still new at all this, you can't really tell um, that this is like a sepia tone so it's really cool this picture has a whole like antique vibe to it and we all kind of look like we're haunted or something i don't know it's really cool and the background had this old like vintage wallpaper where we shot so it kind of added to that 
that was fun. The tea on this is that these two girls ended up um, not being in my life anymore. And they ended up thinking they could be models, but they're really not. I love this one. This one I call my patriotic picture. America. Mm -hmm. So here I am, red, white, and blue in it up. Um, this picture, the T on this, is that this picture was taken at my studio, y'all, when I had my studio that I missed so much. I was taken right outside. Uh, there was a homeless guy, like, right around the corner, literally pissing while this picture was being taken. And I was trying so hard not to laugh and look, like, pretty and seductive and whatever. But the photographer was starting to laugh. I was starting to laugh. It's It was funny. But anyway, this person um, doesn't want me to mention them, so I'm not going to. But this wasn't by my ex. This wasn't by anybody like crazy or super famous or anything like that. It's just somebody who just didn't want to be mentioned in the video. But yeah. America. Mm -hmm. Way to go. And it's so funny because I, here I am. In my head, I remember I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm trying to like bring these patriotic, sexy vibes. And our country is so awesome. Oh, wait, there's a homeless guy that doesn't have anywhere to go peeing outside right around the corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's right here. Back in the day, we used to call these face cards. You take these to go sees. Most of them are all digital now. So this is like so old school. But this is one of my favorite implieds that I did. So I keep this picture around. It was done by Kyung Kim. He's an awesome photographer. Um, the T on him is that he really was um, an Elvis impersonator at one point, And I don't think he ever got over that. Also, the T is he doesn't like to shoot anywhere except in the same spots. We did a really long, awesome photo shoot at my studio. And I got one image from it. Yeah. Anyway, so this is all old information down here at the bottom, except for my Model Mayhem number. I think I'm still on Model Mayhem, and I think that's still my number. If you're trying to contact me on Model Mayhem, stop. <laughs> Just don't do it. There's me. And there's some more me on the back. Top left picture. Burp, burp, burp. That was taken on the roof of my studio. Brainerd Road, Chattanooga, Tennessee. This picture, bottom left, is really interesting because I was literally stepping over crack pipes <laughs> to get this taken. <laughs> yeah, mom, don't be scared. Yeah, dad, don't be scared. Um, yeah, I was literally stepping over like glass and who knows what, and yeah, a bunch of stuff like that just to get this picture because it was the perfect lighting, the perfect wall, etc. So yeah, I hope I don't have hepatitis now. Um, this is by In This Moment Photography. I love this image. It ha gives me old Hollywood vibes. And here we go. Sublime Lightworks, Robert Fausch. You may have seen in one of my previous videos, a version of this picture. Here's the full body picture. I missed that belly piercing. Can't really see it, but it was like cherries with leaves and stuff. Anyway, a face card. Boom. I'm just going to briefly show you my little resume there. And here is the back side of my call calling card, my face card again. Here is the promo card for that calendar I was telling you about. It was called the Fandom Calendar 2009. It was promoted at Con Nuga, Dragon Con. Um, you could buy it online for a while. I don't know if you still can. Um, I had a copy. I sent it to my parents. Who knows what they did with it? They probably burnt it. Who knows? But one of the sets is that we all dressed up like fairies. Oh, I was loving it. And I was reading the Mary Gentry books at the time. If y'all don't know what those are, you need to, you need to educate yourselves. 
And here I am again. This um, character I was playing was just like a Matrix type character. But that's us. And that's my old school printed um, <laughs> portfolio. Like I said, all my um, newer ones, they are, um, they are digitized. So that's some of the hot tea. It wasn't too bad. I didn't sell anybody out too much, did I? Okay, I totally forgot to tell you one of my favorite stories. Um, I'm not going to tell you which photo shoot it was, but it was kind of a big deal photo shoot. It was one of the few photo shoots that were in print that I've ever done. Mm hmm Oh, this is some hot tea. And so I was in the bathroom and I was very thin at the time, y'all, because I had not been diagnosed as having Crohn's yet. So I was going to all these photo shoots, working 40 hours a week, taking care of my studio because my fucking ex wouldn't. I'm sorry. My ex wouldn't. And <laughs> so I was like really overextending myself and just, I was in my 20s, I guess. So you, I guess you can do that then. And... <laughs> So I was working all the time, blah, 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 and hardly finding time to eat. Um, and when I did eat, obviously I was undiagnosed with, have, as having Crohn's. So it would just like totally mess me up. So anyway, I'm at this photo shoot and we have a little bit of a break and it's me and another girl and she's in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. We're freshening up. We're doing a bit of a wardrobe change, um, taking a little bit of a break. And so I'm eating and I'm eating literally like two burritos from Taco Bell, I think. And all of a sudden I hear her just, and then I look up and mm -hmm, Coca-Cola without cola. Like, mm -hmm. and she's like, um, you want some? And I'm sitting there with my burrito like, uh, I'm good. <laughs> so I have never, ever been like your typical model, y'all, like at all. I do it for fun for a while. Um, it actually paid the bills, which was amazing. Um, for now, it's just a hobby kind of. I've kind of fallen back. I've had to because of my health, unfortunately. And that makes me a little sad, but it is what it is. And I'm hoping to get back into belly dance soon and more modeling soon. And I'm loving doing my YouTube videos. They are obviously still a work in progress. So I would really appreciate um, your support, your comments, anything um, you would particularly like to know, like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Add a public comment. I would love it. Um, and so, yeah, that was a little peek into my life. I spilled a little tea, a little tea, but wasn't too hot, was it? Not too bad. Oh, but I've got more. Oh, I've got more. So, yeah, I think I am going to print out a few more pictures. So maybe we can get some more crinkles, some more ASMR-ish stuff going. And, um, yeah, we'll get some more tea, some more truth on some of the more recent photographers I've worked with or tried to work with or worked with, but there's no evidence because people don't like to edit apparently lately. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys like this. Sending all my love, all my hugs, all my support. No matter what you're going through, you got this. Um, yeah. And tally up all my ums in this video. I think I'm getting better at it. I think there were a few less than last time. <laughs> anyway, love ya.